most high school football action anywhere. This is 24 Hour News 8 Football Frenzy. Hello again. Welcome to a special Thursday night edition of the Football Frenzy. The majority of the schools choosing to play tonight and enjoy an extended break this Labor Day weekend. So here we are. And tonight on the Frenzy, I'm joined by Jason Terzis and Larry Fugerski, and we've got highlights from 18 games for you. We're going to start with our spotlight games for the second straight week. One of the top quarterbacks in this state made the trip to the west side. Five-star prospect Devin Gardner led Inkster into East Kentwood. And on the first play from scrimmage, breaks out of the pocket and rumbles 66 yards. Boy, if you're Kentwood, you're going, uh-oh, here it comes. 7-0 Inkster with the lead. But Kentwood doesn't flinch. Still first quarter, Deontay Hurst going to go 14 yards around the left end. Look at the moves there. They've got some speed on that Kentwood team. 8-7 after the two-point conversion. Second quarter, Falcons up 15-7. to And then Gardner goes to work again. Tosses to Edwan Penn. Michigan fans, yeah, I, I talked to a couple people there today who came specifically to watch him. But those people had to be impressed with this. John Henry hands it off to Jamal Thomas. He goes outside 16 yards, 25-13. He's Kentwood. Then in the third quarter, they pile it on. Deontay Hurst, four-yard touchdown run. East Kentwood hammers Inkster. Final score, 52-33. Our second spotlight game takes us to Rockford, where despite having just three starters back from last year's state championship team, the Rams are off and running once again. Big winners over Davison in week one. Rams playing the home opener tonight against Holt. And the rededication of the Ted. Ted Carlson Memorial Stadium. They put in new field turf in the offseason. Some other upgrades going on there as well. Place beautiful tonight. First quarter, how about Matt Caramel breaking free? And then Taylor Mosowitz going to hook up with him. 49 yards this one going to go down to the 10. Next play, it is Ryan Darby in around on the far side, capping an 11-play, 98-yard drive for the Rams. They strike first at 7-0. Paul Mudgett booted a field goal from 40-plus yards tonight and also hit this chip shot from 17 to make it 10-0 Rams at halftime. Rockford defense wreaking havoc on the other team known as the Rams. How about Matt Caramel causing the fumble? Jason Kester up with it. Rockford, no problem tonight. 34-10 over Holt. Spotlight number three, shining in Jenison on the heels of their 41 to nothing shutout win over Whalen on the road a week ago. Irv Sigler and the Wildcats kicking off the home season tonight against Caledonia. Scott's hoping to bounce back from a 41-34 loss to East Kentwood on opening night. They bounced back well up 27-14. That's Brett McCarty in from a yard out. It was 35-14, Scott. Third quarter, Jenison trying to mount a comeback. Zachariah Keene pitched to Ian Hamilton, who goes up top to Mitch Hackley. 80 yards for the touchdown. That would cut the lead to 35-20. Fourth quarter now, Jenison again to the air, looking to complete the comeback. Zachariah Keene, however, this time off the fingers of Hackley. McCarty with the interception. Caledonia wins it on the road, both now 1-1, 35-20. One one, Fourth spotlight game, Kennewa Hills hosting East Grand Rapids. Kennewa, impressive win in their opener. East as well. And Kennewa on its opening drive, nine minutes. They go 80 yards in 17 plays. Tiquan Clark caps it off 7-0. Ensuing drive for the Pioneers. Ryan Elbley keeps himself 7-7. Nice driving. But watch this play here. Kirk Spencer picks off Justin Ford. Puts a stop to that drive. Great play by Spencer. Still 7-7 game. Third quarter. Spencer can't stop this guy. Look at number 27. Find the end zone. East Grand Rapids goes on to win it 28-7. Our next stop, Holland, where the Dutch were taking on the Red Arrows of Lowell. Lowell Dean and his crew looking for another good season this year. And off to another hot start. Already up 14-0. Gabe Dean with the handoff to Austin Graham. Add the two-point conversion, 22-0. Second quarter, Dean going to go to Matt Houston deep over the middle. He's got him. Good for 26 yards. It was 29-0. Red Arrows. And then more from the Lowell quarterback, Gabe Dean, just a sophomore, going to go deep. He's got Derek Cornish, 53 yards, ball game, 55 nothing. Lowell trouncing Holland. After shutting out Grand Ledge on the road in their season opener, the Bulldogs of Granville returning home tonight to host the Titans of Traverse City West. Rita Bo, Clark, that is, QB plunge here from a yard out. It was 25 to 8. Late in the third then, Travis Kamstra. Cuts it back to the right side, finds a hole, and goes 37 yards all the way down to the 10-yard line. It set up another field goal. That made it 28-8, Granville. TC West does mount a little bit of a comeback, but not enough tonight. Granville 
Winners now 2-0, 28-16. We're off to Holland Christie for Game 7. Maroons hosting Thornapple Kellogg. Thornapple Kellogg, they won their first game this year. And they were driving early. Coley Makia tossed back to Marquise Gray. He goes in 30 yards for the score. 7-0 lead for the Trojans. Thornapple Kellogg was up 14-0 when Holland Christian gets on the board. Nick Kike over to Alex Baker. Holland Christian gets its act together. They go on to win it 38-21. Next up, Byron Center at Forest Hills Northern. Both teams winners in week one. Turned out to be a pretty good ball game. Third quarter, Byron Center with the double handoff. Matt Jarmo to Zach Frost to Austin Height. Nice move for Austin. He's going to go 40 yards to the touchdown. It was 26-7 Bulldogs, but Forest Northern making a game of this. How about Cam Wysocki? Going to roll out. Plenty of time. Going to just chuck this one deep. He's got James Burgoon. Good for 56 yards deep into Byron Center territory. On the very next play, Wysocki supposed to hand it off, but a little miscommunication there. Almost drops the ball. Keeps it himself. So what? Goes in nine yards for the score, but too little too late. Byron Center holds on, knocking off Forest Hills Northern in a good one, 26-21. In Holland, the Panthers of West Ottawa, 31-8 winners over Jackson a week ago, looking to make it two straight, entertaining the 0-1 Wildcats of Whalen. Opening possession, Zach Borsma in from four yards out, and the Panthers were off and running. Still in the first. Next possession, in fact, Brandon Allen in at QB now for the Panthers, and he gets free. 53 yards all the way down inside the 10-yard line. It would set up this. Allen again on the QB keeper. Points came early and often for West Ottawa. They roll over Wayland tonight, 42-12. All right, we're at halftime on the frenzy. When we come back, Oak Ridge was upset. It's opener last week by Muskegon Heights. Or were they? Details on a forfeit in week one on your way. And Wyoming Park trying to pull off a shocker in week two. Vikings up against South Christian. Stick around. Still plenty more to come in the frenzy. Park, 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 park.